Hello friends, did you know that there are around 8.7 million species on this planet? Yes, our earth is full of life and it's incredibly diverse. If we talk about the animal kingdom, there is so much to explore from animals living in the harshest deserts to those swimming in the deepest oceans. Let's begin. You might have noticed that different animals live in different types of surroundings. For example, the fishes live in water, while the goats, on the other hand, live in grassy areas. Well, this is not a coincidence. Every environment provides unique conditions that shape the animals living there. Now think, does the movement of animals depend on their surroundings? Definitely. Animals move differently with different body parts. We can group animals based on their movement. Fish, for example, have streamlined bodies with fins that help them move smoothly and goats use their legs for movement. Some animals even have unique ways of moving. For example, snakes slither, frogs hop and birds fly. The biodiversity of a region varies because the environment affects how animals move, behave and even how they look. Let's consider the desert. Here, there is very little water and it gets very hot during the day and cold at night. The desert plants like cacti have fleshy stems to store water and animals like camels have special adaptations to survive the harsh conditions. The camel in the hot desert has long legs with wide hooves. This structure helps them to walk on the sandy desert without sinking into the sand. Have you seen a camel's hump? Well, what is the purpose of this extra beauty? Camels store energy-rich fat in their hump, which is present on its back. The stored fat helps them to go without eating or drinking because their body could convert stored fat into needed energy. And did you know that camels excrete very little urine, produce dry dung and don't sweat much? All these features help them save water which allows them to go for days without drinking. Isn't that cool? But that's not all. Camels are also found in the cold desert of Ladakh. But here's the difference. Instead of one, they have two humps. These humps are not there just for show. They are the fat storage tanks. When winter rolls around and food becomes scarce in the cold desert, the camels use the fat stored in their humps to survive. That's why, by the end of winter, the humps actually shrink. Also, they have long hair from their head to their neck to survive the harsh winters. These hairs act like a natural blanket, keeping them warm in freezing temperatures. The height and legs of camels in a cold desert are comparatively shorter than those found in a hot desert. These short legs allow them to walk easily in mountainous regions. Friends, did you see the diversity in animals is just amazing, starting from where they live to how they move. So stay attentive and curious. You never know how science will amaze you.